Hey buddy, um, I miss you and I love you and I can't wait to hold you and hug you again. Um, I think I'm going to start making these videos a little bit shorter uh, just so that I can make more of them. Maybe two a day and at least send one out each day um, or so. I don't know. I'll just play it by ear. But um, so anyways, a couple of the things I'd like to go over today is the Father's Creed. Um, I will try to live the life I want for you so you can be ex inspired to live your life to the fullest. So I think that what that means is it kind of goes back to um, to being an example and so um, making the right decisions and um, being the best example I can be for you um, so that you can live your life to the fullest and you can um, see how your mom and dad do things and hopefully it's the best in the right way. Um, I love you little guy. Um, and the other thing I'll read today is... Um, I will teach you not to focus on what your friends have, but how to take care of what you have because um, because others have much less than you. So it's just kind of appreciating what you have and not wanting more all the time and taking care of what you have. Um, so, I mean, for me, like, that's that's so important because when things are just given to you and they're not earned, you really don't appreciate them. And you don't take care of them as much, and um, and I appreciate everything I have since I grew up with nothing. Um, all right. So today, the book I'm going to read is called "I Love It When You Smile." Okay. And I do love it when you smile. And your mom sends me those pictures. I love it when you smile. It was a lovely summer morning, but Rue was feeling grumpy, and he didn't know why. He was feeling so grumpy that he didn't even want to play. What's wrong with you this morning? asked his mother. Nothing, said Rue. You should smile, his mother said. Everybody feels better when they smile. But little Rue wasn't in a smiling mood today. Not even when his mother tickled him gently. Did I see a tiny smile? She asked. Just one? No, said Rue. You didn't. Little crump lump His mom reached out and flipped him up head over heels. It was the kind of game little kangaroos love to play. <clears throat> but would it work this grumpy morning? Look at that face. <laughs> I love how they're good at like, making the expressions. No, little Roo. No. Little Roo did not smile, not even a teeny weeny bit. His mother skipped into a hollow tree where they liked to play. She popped her, her head through a hole in the trunk. Smile! I still don't want to, said Little Roo. Oh, his mom is trying hard to make him smile. Oh dear, said his mom. So she gathered up some dry leaves, tossed them into the air, and all the leaves came down on little Rue. He looked so funny. I think I can I think I can see a smile this time, his mom said, and laughed. Just the little one. Based off of that face, I'd say no. You don't, said Rue. I'm not smiling. Oh, well, his mother said with a sigh. <sighs> it was time for breakfast. Little Rue's mom lifted him up. Let's go down the hill together 
and find something to eat. I'm not hungry, said Rue, grumpily. But I'm hungry, said his mom. Come on. Oh, she's not playing anymore. <laughs> Hold on tight. And off they went. Halfway down the hill, there was a hole. It wasn't a deep hole, but it was a wide enough hole and a muddy at the bottom hole. Look out! cried Rue. But his mom was, was doing silly hops from side to side instead of looking where she was going. And dot dot dot. <laughs> oh, that doesn't look good. Slop! Right into the hole! What a mess! Rue himself was muddy all over. Then he looked at his mother who was soaking wet and slimy from the tops of her ears to the tips of her toes. And little Rue couldn't do anything else. He just had to... Smile. I love it when you smile. <laughs> and that's the end of that book. It's a good book. And you know someday we're some days we're gonna have those moments where we're grouchy and we don't want to smile or we wake up tired. Um but it's good, I always feel happy after a smile. Okay, and I'm also gonna read a little book. Five Little Ducks. Five little ducks went swimming one day over the hills and far away. Mother duck called, quack, 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 quack. But only four little ducks came back. Four little ducks went swimming one day, over the hills and far away. Mother duck called, quack, 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 but only three little ducks came back. Three little ducks went swimming one day, over the hills and far away. Mother duck called, quack, 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 but only two little ducks came back. Two little ducks went swimming one day, over the hills and far away. Mother duck called, quack, 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 but only one little duck came back. Oh. One little duck went swimming one day, over the hills and far away. Mother duck called, quack, 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 and thank goodness all five little ducks came back. Quackity quack quack. The end. Alright, Ezekiel. I love you and I hope you have a good night. And I hope you hear my voice well. I hope that when I see you, you recognize me. Love you, little guy.